Hi friends, how are you today? I hope you are having a wonderful day so far. Happy Saturday. My name is Bailey Sarian and today is Saturday, which means it's Saturday. I thought I would sit down and do a tutorial. You know me, a get ready with me where I ramble and then I do my makeup at the same time. Mm -hmm. You heard that right. Today's video is in partnership with Ipsy for the new collection, which is the Betty Boop in collaboration with Ipsy Collection. I've used it a couple of times here on my channel, so I'm gonna be using a few pieces again um, for the look I'm creating today. I was gonna do like a last minute Halloween look idea, but like it's not even last minute technically because it's still the middle of the month. So I don't, we'll see what this turns into. I should really plan my, my tutorials, but I never do. And this is an issue. Oh my God, I love this. Wow. I have my Betty Boop glam bag here, Ipsy glam bag. I think this bag is so cute. So I'm going to start with my eyes first because I think I'm gonna do a black smoky eye and usually that's a mess. This is Danessa Myrick's Color Fix 24 hour matte color. And this is the shade Blackout, just like a black gel liner. And I'm gonna place this all over my lid all the way up to my crease and then just kind of blend that out. Yeah, so what's been going on? What's new? So we just got back from New York yesterday and New York was amazing. We went out there for the Ipsy Live event, Fernando and I. I really, I really, really, really like New York a whole lot. The weather was perfect. It was like just, it was autumn out there. Remember in my last video, I was like seasons, yeah, fall. Well, I was yelling fall over and over again. <laughs> I was like, tell me what seasons are like. And New York has seasons, so let me tell you. I'm here to report, amazing. I'm putting like a matte contour shade right in the crease of my eye. But yes, New York was absolutely amazing. The weather was so beautiful and New York is just so cool. I mean, I, I feel like I would, if I were rich, okay, if I were rich, I would live in New York for like autumn and spring, cause I hear those are like the best times to live there. But my allergies are telling me no to spring. I would live there and then I would go to like my winter home, which would probably be, I don't know where, I guess California, doesn't matter. It was great there. We were only there for a couple of days and Fernando and I are the worst. We don't plan things like we should. We should be planners. So we tried to go to some museums and stuff and it was like the line to get tickets was way too long and we didn't have that much time. I don't know why I, we don't, we suck at that. We're very like on a whim type of people. So like, hey, you wanna go here? Okay, you wanna go there? All right, we don't ever plan. So I need to be better with that because there are so many things I wanted to see in New York but we just didn't have the time and I didn't think to get tickets ahead of time but it was so great out there. The Ipsy live event was cool. There was, I got to meet a lot of you guys. <laughs> it was so magical. I had a little meet and greet there and it was so great. Some of you guys showed up wearing merch and I was just like, this is, this is weird. Like it's just, it's just weird that, you know, cause for me, what I see is like my perspective, right? Which is me sitting here talking to the camera and then I upload it and then I talk to you guys well, I like try to write you guys and communicate with you guys on the internet. So it's like, I recognize some of your guys' um, profile pictures and whatnot, cause I'll see it all the time. And then like meeting you in person is so, it's just like, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, you're like, you're, yeah, you're my friend. <laughs> it's cool, don't get me wrong, it's so cool. It's like, you guys are my friends, you know, all over the place. This is the That's So Betty eyeshadow palette. Very cute, BB, a little big old mirror. I'm gonna use this shade right here called Up Past Midnight. What the fuck, what the fuck? What was that? I'm gonna try with my finger and see what it looks like. Oh, it's pretty. So I'm patting this all over my lid all the way up to the crease. We're gonna do some smokiness, smoking a pancake. You're so vain. You probably think the song is about you. You're so vain. Okay, there's this color right here and a little dab of doodah right in here. Oh, this is like the easiest eye. I actually kind of like this eye if I didn't do that crease color. Like it might be kind of hot if I just would have left no crease. Yeah, I should have done that. It's kind of hot, just like my forehead acne. Let me see if I can blend it out. Oh, it doesn't matter, I already did it. You don't always have to put like a crease color and stuff, you guys, you know that? I'm here to tell you. Makeup has gotten so like, people get on my case if I forget to put on highlight and I don't forget to put on highlight, correction, correction. I don't forget. 
get to put on highlight. I don't want to put on highlight sometimes. The beauty videos here on YouTube, it's like there's just a step-by-step -step like system of how it all goes, right? I'm sure we all know the primer, the foundation, the concealer, the highlight, the powder, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, if you don't follow those steps, then you're doing it wrong. And I'm here to tell you like, no, 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 no. You don't have to do all of those things. Like I rarely wear primer, face primer. I only wear primer if I know like it's gonna be a long day and I'm not gonna be able to touch up. Um, I like primer. I just, you don't need, you don't really need it all the time unless you're trying to correct something. That's a whole nother video. Um, but as far as like the highlight, goes. I like looking more matte. I feel like you look more flawless, especially if you are breaking out and you have breakouts, large pores, clogged pores, texture. When you, when you apply highlight, it just enhances all of that. And when you leave yourself more matte, it looks more smooth and flawless. It's just a preference though, you know? If you wanna wear highlight, do it. If you don't, do it. It's up to you. Lately, I've been more matte. I haven't been wearing any highlight just because my skin. <laughs> I know I've been addressing it in like every video, calling out my acne that has come back with vengeance, but like it's just all that I've got going on right now is um, acne. Anywho, I'm using that same shadow from the Betty Boop. That's so Betty palette. Oh, I love this. Yeah, I should have done no crease. I didn't do a crease here but now my eyes don't match, that's okay. Yes, but I could totally live in New York and I would love to live in New York. It's electric, there's something in the air there. And the fact that you can walk everywhere, you could, you walk everywhere. Friend and I like walked 10 miles almost every day, 10 miles. I have a little like tracker on my, on my phone that tells me how many miles I've walked and whatnot, you know? And yeah, it was like almost 10 miles. I think some days was over 10 miles every day. And it's like, oh my God, I would be, I would be in shape if I lived there. <laughs> you could just walk places and not even realize that you, you've been walking for hours because there's just, it's like, wow, there's so much. It's every corner, there's something new and it's, there's just so much. I'm sure if you live there, you're rolling your eyes like, no, please don't move here. Um, <laughs> but just know from somebody who doesn't get out much, your city is amazing. Here in Los Angeles, it's not set up to like walk anywhere. You can't walk anywhere. And if and if you do walk, people make you feel like you're a peasant because you're walking. Oh, she must not have a car. Also, if you came to my meetup at Ipsy Live in New York, thank you so much. I appreciate you. That was so nice. You guys were all so nice. In my last Saturday video, I was like, oh my God, this is my new favorite product. It's the Ciate Micro Blade Brow. Now here's the thing. I like this product a lot, but I'm not sure if I like it that much anymore because all of the products I've noticed have a, like a, a warm tone to it. And you could really see it in my last Saturday upload. Like when I first started applying it, it looks way off. It's weird cause in person I didn't see that, but in the video I was like, oh my God, like under the lights and whatnot in that camera, I saw it and I was like, that looks awful. Once I layered it pretty heavy, it went away, I guess, because you can't tell that my brows look warm. HD cameras, man, they'll mess with you. They show everything. You think you're cute, go in front of an HD camera and some lighting and you're gonna be like, oh, wow. Didn't know I had a mustache, but thanks for letting me know, okay. No pore is left behind. I remember when I first filmed at the Ipsy Studios, you could tell like the qualities better because they have like really, really good lighting, camera, $15,000 worth of camera stuff. Anyways, but when I first started filming there, it was humbling. It was a very humbling experience. I was just completely shocked. Something else you learn with cameras is different lenses, because there's so many different lenses, give the different effects as far as like, oh, the camera adds 10 pounds. And it's true. like. Different lenses make you look wider. Different lenses will make you look smaller. Different lighting will make things look different. It's so weird. It's interesting too. I should take a lighting class because lighting is fascinating. You can completely change someone's appearance just using light. Oh, it's nuts, you guys, just wild. What was I getting at? I don't even know. Foundation, I'm going to use the CYO Long Lasting Foundation. I have the shade 107. This foundation is being discontinued. It might already be discontinued, but if you see it at Walgreens or CVS, I would say pick it up because full coverage, flawless, beautiful, 
I love it. I'm using my It Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush. It's got little hearts on it and it's a heart shape. Oh my gosh, did you guys see um, Disney Plus is coming out? It's a streaming service of just like Disney movies and stuff. When I first heard about it, I was like, meh. But then I saw like what shows and whatnot are gonna be on the streaming service. Oh. <laughs> I lost my shit because they have every single Disney original movie and show that you forgot about on the service. When I saw that So Weird, the show, it's called So Weird. When I saw that was gonna be on there, I was like, where do I sign up? I used to really like that show. And whenever I would talk about it, I nobody ever remembered it. And to the point where it made me feel like, am I making this up? Like, was this even a show? Because nobody ever remembered it. When I saw it on there, I was like, oh my God, yes. Sign me up. They have Xenon, they have Can of Worms. Get rid of Amazon and sign up for this Disney Plus because this is everything. I am so excited. I am gonna be so busy. Okay, this is the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream. This is the shade Light. It looks pretty damn dark for light, but let's see. Hopefully it goes well. I'm gonna use my um, my flat foundation brush to apply and see what happens. Okay, yeah, on the airplane to New York, I watched this movie. It's kind of old, don't laugh at me. It's called um, Analyze That or Analyze This. It was the first one that came out in like 1999. And boy, was that movie funny. <laughs> The movie was so funny. I was like, how come I've never seen this before? It had me laughing so hard. Okay, this isn't that bad. I thought it was gonna be like really intense because it looks really dark. Oh, also I'll tell you guys my Saturday crowd. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do like a restock on merch and whatnot. And I've mentioned numerous times like, oh, hey, like I don't really have much control over restock and stuff, but for the, for November, planning a restock to come. Yeah, it's gonna be very exciting. Of course, I'll make sure to like post it everywhere when it does happen. And I'm not sure on the date yet because I don't think it's been confirmed, but I will let you guys know if you've been waiting for a certain item to come back, it's most likely, I think we're bringing a lot of stuff back for my birthday month. I'm not a birthday month kind of girl. I'm more of a like, it's my birthday, don't tell anybody kind of person. I don't like being center of attention, which may be hard to believe because I put myself out here on the internet. So my birthday is end of November. Jouer Concealer, this is the shade Creme. Yes, yeah, so my birthday's coming up. It would be nice to like go somewhere, I guess. I still need to go on a vacation, maybe one day. But the month of no November is kind of crazy as far as work goes. I'm very excited because we got like the whole merch thing coming back. And then i um, been working on something else. I love concealer. This is a Smashbox Precise Highlighting Brush. It works nice for concealer. Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder in L Translucent Light. I would, yeah, so I would love to move to New York. I really would. Just like a year or something, right? Like, why do I have to stay here? I don't know why I have this mindset of like, I'm stuck here, but I'm not. I could go wherever I wanted. You could too. My Smashbox Contour Palette. I love this shade right here. When you buy this palette, it comes with a little brush. That brush is the best. So I have like 3000 of those brushes. But with that being said, I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna use this one. It's from NARS. It's like a powder brush, but I just want like a soft, contour somewhat. So just right in here. This is Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil number 100. It's just black. I'm gonna place this in my waterline and then along my lower lash line as well. And then I'll smudge it with my finger. Yes, these are really easy to smudge. Now I am using that same shade, the silver, with a small brush. This is Lexi 111. Lace it right over. Hmm, it's like an oil slick. What's that? I don't know, but it is. Then using that lighter shade again right in here. What are you guys doing on actual Halloween? Anything? What did we do last year? I don't even remember. Where's my memory? This is the Cheek to Cheek Blush Palette from the Betty Boop and Ipsy collection. This shade right here. Cute. Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter. It's called Crystal High. It comes in this triangle. Look at that though. I mean, that's pretty, right? Mm-hmm. Have you guys seen any good movies lately? 
You know what? I still haven't seen Judy. I am disappointed in myself. I have been waiting for this movie to come out forever. This is the Betty Boop and Ipsy Blink and Wink Mascara. It's got a fatty brush. I love it. Put on some mascara and then I'll probably do some false eyelashes just because I'm going for like this smokier look. I like this mascara because it just makes my lashes thick. I'm going to put on a pair of false eyelashes and I'll be right back. These lashes are from Bold Face Makeup and they're called Forget Me Not. I don't know why I'm holding this up because like they're on my eyes. I'm going to line my lips with MAC Lip Liner in Oak. Then I'm going to put on the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Dash O Spice. Then I'm going to place the Betty Boop and Ipsy Collection Lip Gloss on my lips. Ta-da, this is the finished look. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you wanna wear it? Let me know down below. I think it's cute, I really like it. A big thank you to Ipsy for partnering with me on today's video with the new Betty Boop and Ipsy collection. Let me know your thoughts on this look down below. I feel like it's so easy. I know you can totally do this. Just try it because it washes off. Anyways, I love and appreciate you guys so much for hanging out with me today and watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. You make good choices and I hope to be seeing you very soon. Bye.